To get started, you're going to want to remove your filter, and that's easy. All you need to do is just press it in, and it will release, and then you can just pull out. This is a filter that I've got to install instead of the Frigidaire filter set from Aquafresh, and it says it is an exact match to the Pure Source 3 filter. So let's take a look and see how they compare and whether it actually does work or not. And when you look up the link that I've left in the description below for the Aquafresh filter, you'll see this little picture here, and this is what I went off of when I bought the filters, and it says it will in fact fit instead of the Frigidaire Pure Source 3 filter. So first thing I noticed was that the Frigidaire filter is a little bit longer, only by a quarter of an inch or so. It also has this secondary alignment piece on the side, whereas the Aquafresh does not. And the other place that you'll see a difference is on the top, where the clip system is completely different, and the pipes where the water flows through are a little bit shorter on the Aquafresh compared to the Frigidaire. So let's get it installed and get some water running through it. To install the filter, align this plastic bit on the filter with the slot in the housing and push it in. You'll meet some resistance and then just give it a little push and you'll hear an audible click and then that's in position. Now all that's left to do is run a couple of gallons through the filter. And that's just to clean out the filter, any debris left from manufacturing and any potential air locks. So if you are looking to save a little bit of money on your next refrigerator filter replacement, skip the Frigidaire filters if you have a Frigidaire and get the Aquafresh. This is about $52 if you go to Home Depot or buy online, you can get a little bit cheaper. I got three of these for $50, working out at just under $17 a piece, which is a lot cheaper when you have to replace every six months and it works really well.